Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome. Welcome, one and all. I'm ever so grateful that you have joined me today on this beautiful winter solstice day, the shortest day of the year and the longest day of the night. In case you aren't aware, we have two solstices a year. We have a winter solstice, a summer solstice, and we also have two equinoxes, a spring equinox and a fall equinox. And these four points of the year mark like the four directions, the four elements, and they mark very specific points in the sun's movement throughout the year. Interestingly, Stonehenge is aligned with the solstices so that during the sunrise and sunset, the sun will come up directly in the middle. It's a beautiful time of year to reflect upon the year behind you and to really look and see all the different changes that have occurred and how you handled them and how you would like to move forward with everything that has happened with everything that you have learned. It's also this year, very interesting time because Venus is in retrograde in Capricorn. And it's also accompanied there by Pluto, which has certainly some interesting energies that tie in with the solstice energy quite well. So it's a beautiful time for transformation with Pluto being there. And with looking back at how we feel about things concerning beauty and abundance and home and the things that we love and how those things might have changed this year and what kind of ducks that we we might want to put in order in this new year coming. It's a beautiful time of year to reflect upon all of this. And one thing about doing this kind of reflection that's so important is, is that it helps your soul to grow. It helps your humanness to grow. And without this personal introspection and taking the time to really go inward and to do this inner examination, then the growth doesn't happen as easily and as swiftly and as beautifully as it could otherwise when you do the work. Doing the work, putting in the personal responsibility is so significant. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is personal responsibility in life, in healing, in everything. Because nobody can do this for you but you. You're the only one that has control over your life, your thoughts, how you do everything. You are the only only one that gets to decide. So often we look to healers or psychics to do it for us, really, because things can get really hard sometimes and they get overwhelming. And then we seek answers or we look to someone to do it for us because it seems so overwhelming. But while those healers and psychics can be really wonderful guides to help us along our path. They're only that. They are only that. Helpers and guides. You are the one that does all of the work. You're the one that has the responsibility that when you learn, you then 
have to behave based on what you now know. Because the more that you learn, the more responsibility you have to live up to what you know and understand of yourself. And so the more we learn, the more responsibility we have, and that is such a beautiful thing. Because when we understand that when we put the work in to ourselves, the rewards are tremendous. And as I say this, I'm thinking about all of the participants of the workshop that I just did, the four-week workshop that I called Ignite Your Magic. And I want to give a shout out to all of these participants because each and every single one of them took the personal responsibility to do the work. And because they did that, they saw tremendous results. At least I think so. And I know they do too. But it's only because they did the work. And one of them specifically understood that in particular, that without doing the work, she wouldn't have gotten as far as she did. That is so huge. You can take all the workshops in the world. You can go to all the psychics. You can go to all the healers. And without putting the work in yourself, you're not going to get as far. It'll be a fleeting thing. It'll feel good for the moment but it won't last. The thing that lasts is when you can learn to understand yourself, when you can take the time in meditation or even just to learn meditation, take the time to meditate, whether it's five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. This is the single most important thing, in my opinion, that everyone could do for themselves to improve their life, to help with their soul's growth. The one thing that everyone can do to take the personal responsibility for their own health and healing, meditation. Doesn't matter if you can or you can't. Can't is no such thing. There is no doing it wrong. Just sitting down and breathing and just being still for a moment or just sitting outside underneath a tree. Taking a walk Just in a moment when you need to, if you feel upset, reminding yourself to take a breath. And when you can take this personal responsibility to make this a habit to meditate every single day, just doing that alone, you will see tremendous results. Because those stressors that come up, those things that create anxiety or fear, they will not be as difficult. They'll still be there, of course, but you'll handle them differently. They won't be so hard to handle. They won't hit you so intensely. It'll feel a little easier. It'll kind of wash over you a little easier than it normally would have when you can take the time to sit in meditation. And when you take the time to sit in meditation, you can also take the time to really start understanding yourself Start looking at all of the different thoughts that you have throughout the day, all of the different experiences that you've had throughout the day and how you reacted to them and how you feel about those things. And you can start keeping track of those things and journaling. Journaling is such a wonderful idea because A, you get it out, you allow the flow, and then B, it gives you this resource to look back on and see what kind of patterns you're running through. And that will help you to learn more about yourself. Speaking of journaling, write down your dreams. It is such a wonderful tool that our higher self gives us, our dreams. Our higher self is communicating to us through our dreams every single night, giving us these cryptic messages in symbolic form, trying to tell us, exactly what it is that we need to learn. And it takes work and effort on our own behalf, the personal introspection, to figure it out. Because nobody is going to figure that out for you too, because your symbols are your symbols. They are unique to you. And while there are universal ones for sure, that will mean something individual to you in your flavor of whatever that concept is. 
And so there are so many ways that we can take the personal responsibility for our own healing and for our own growth. One of them is to examine, like I said before, the thoughts that we're having throughout the day and to really look at that and to see, is that the way I want to think? And our actions, is that the way I want to behave? And if it's different, this is such a beautiful time of the year to look back at all of those things. What, where were my thoughts? How did I behave? And moving forward, how do I want to behave differently? Where would I prefer my thought focus to be? And the thing is, we have 100% control over where our thought focus is. And the more we meditate, the easier it is to maintain that focus. I didn't intend for today to be a show about meditation, but I can't help it. It is, in my opinion, like I said before, the single most important thing that we can all do for ourselves. The single most important thing we can all do for ourselves every single day. And yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. There is no such thing as I can't. I've heard it before and it's baloney. You can absolutely do it. It Just let it go. Let go of all of what people say it needs to be. Let go of the idea of trying to silence your mind. That will not work. You just sit and breathe. Sit and breathe. Sit yourself in a beautiful place in your mind and think of beautiful energies. Think of love and gratitude. That is the simplest thing, simplest way to meditate, and everybody can do that. It doesn't require any trying. It's just imagination and breathing. Very, very simple. And the single most important thing that you can do for yourself every single day. The focus. The focus is what you're creating here. And when you can focus your energies daily in this way, It has tremendous benefits because like I said, you're the one that has control over this 100% control of your growth and healing. All the healers in the world will be beautiful helpers and guides, but nobody can do this for you, but you in my career as a naturopathic physician, which I'm not practicing so much like that anymore. I'm doing solely mind body work, QHHT sessions. And people used to always come in and they would say, doc, heal me, fix me doc. And I would like to turn around to them and say, that is not my job. That is yours all day. That is yours. I am happy to provide you the guidance and the tools and be here to hold your hand through that. But this is your job. And if you don't want to do the things that I have recommended and use the tools that I have provided, I cannot do this for you. And so this is my message for everyone today. I want you to take the reins into your own hands moving forward this year, knowing that all of this is your personal responsibility, your growth, your healing, your soul's evolution. You got this and you have tools. And if you don't have tools, reach out to me and I will do more shows on more tools because it's really a lot more simple than we think it is. We can make our lives so much easier and any changes that we're going through, they don't have to be so challenging and so difficult, even though they may be, we can tolerate them at a level that doesn't affect us super intensely. We can go through it with ease and grace. And that is my intention for this year coming ease and grace and flow. I think that's it for me today, everybody. I'm going to leave you with a song. This is Trevor Hall. Put down what you're carrying until next time. I love you all. Also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well.
you're gonna hold all that pain oh, no. Let go, let go, let go Put all of it out of your mind I know, you know, we know It's time to put down what you are carrying you are carrying put down what you are carrying put down put down put down now. put down what you are carrying put down what you are carrying put down what you are carrying put down put down put down now. Put down what you are carrying. Yeah. Put down, put, put it down. down. 